it's my I'm getting married. Just kidding. Am I? I decided that today I'm gonna be trying on wedding dresses from Yes Style. I bought a thousand dollars worth. I think it's wedding season. Isn't like fall the time to get cuffed. So I wanted to help out those Lindas who, you know, got their life together and they're like actually getting married because I cannot relate. Really. Whatever, I'm living my life being single. Wait, they don't know that. We have some explaining to do. So I thought it'd be so much fun to try these cheap wedding dresses on. You never know. The point is, are these wedding dresses as they are seen online? So let's see if they actually hold up to the picture. You see that one? That was like yellow. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this. This is the first one and I decided to get short ones, long sleeves, no sleeves, the whole shebang. This is an elbow sleeve ball gown wedding dress and it ranged for $300. A lot of fabric. Well, this is plastic. There's a zipper and then you have to lace it up back. Oh my God. They're a little tight on the sleeves. Oh, what? This side's fine, but this side's tight as hell. Okay, there's a little cushion here. Shield. Come, 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 lace me. It like doesn't go all the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you emotional for me yet? Thanks. It smells like fish, fish sauce. Ew, if you cute. plan to wear this to your wedding the day of. Ew. Don't do it. Ear it out. We give you a princess. It's okay, we don't have to do all. I'm not, I'm just tying it. It's, it looks not. So as my assistant is tying me up, um, I just like to make a public service announcement. My arms don't go all the way. Stops right here. Apparently the straps are dirty as yeah. well. Like, wow, wow, really? I'm not really sure what this is. This plastic part, I guess it's supposed to hold the poop. Oh, uh, what poop? <laughs> Oh, the poop. <laughs> Can I say the cup of the boobies? They're like up here and my boobs are down here. That's the first concern. This is very old school. But I wanted to get variety, okay? Honey, no, 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 no. You have a little sweetheart neckline here. What do I look like? Mean Girls. Oh! When Katie went to the Halloween party. Bitch, Halloween's around the corner. This top layer is supposed to float and sit on top. Mm. Underneath we have this fake plastic and then underneath that we have another layer of plastic and then on top it's just this whimsical textile fishnet these are supposed to be like petals i guess <laughs> Thanks. i mean this dress works if you're desperate i am not desperate in this so no i feel like a dead bride that haunts Okay, that's kind of freaky, let's not do that. This out of five stars, definitely a one, a 0.5. I'm deducting 0.5 because of the smell. At least it kinda gives you a cinch at the waist, kinda. There goes the 0.5. If you wanna look like a dead haunting bride, then that's, that's fun, that's your style. Okay, so I thought it would be really fun to get a short dress. Mm. This was about 160. I decided to go for a short dress, because why not? Some people like short wedding dresses. Not that I have ever seen people wear short wedding dresses. But you might be the first, so I am here to help. My pleasure. Oh God, Stormy! Stormy! Oh, Stormy baby! Ow! Oh, by the way, I think these dresses, they did come in sizes. Oh, this one might not fit. Oh my God, I have a wedding to go to. I don't think we can make it. It won't zip. Wow, there's this cape at the back. This is like pea yellow. You spilled coffee on it. I stained it with tea. Short my ass. It like goes all the way down my knees. Linda, listen, Linda, listen. I size this in large. So if you're a size six to eight in US, for us. There are delicate flowers with some pearl beading right in the center, made from yours truly, Hobby Lobby. Even on the veil, you see some flower detailing here. I guarantee you, if you wear this down the wedding aisle, like people are just gonna be like, oh my God, it's a curtain. Does it move? The fishnet up here, God, Lee. It literally suffocates and cuts my circulation a bit right here. And it's not even zipped. Imagine it zipped. So if you like have a normal neck size, like just be aware. I feel like I'm drowning in this. Just like tea stained. Again with the weird plastic on the bottom, I feel like this will melt if you walk past fire. You're a hottie. You might melt this just breathe it. <laughs> At least the one before you can kind of feel like a princess in. This one. See me in hindsight, tangled up with you all. Okay, there has 
be one dress that goes well for us. Yeah, we're gonna pass on the floating curtains. So I got this sleeveless lace panel dress for $24 and it sure looks like it's $24. The sides are supposed to be see-through, which they are. Here's how the middle looks like. A white panel going all the way down. I didn't know that this color was going to be flush shaded, rosy tone, which is fine because it does blend in nicely to my like skin tone because I am pretty tan, but what if you weren't tan? Stretchy. So I didn't really struggle having it go through the chest bestie. Would I wear this as my wedding dress? I don't know. It's like so see-through. You can see my underwear. I'm not gonna lie. I do really like how the panel is cut right in the middle. It like tricks the eye to make people think that you're actually slimmer than you are. The chesty besties look formal. Kind of gives a cute silhouette. I'm not a fan of this top part though because this is so not uniform. This cut, you just kind of like, it just looks like... What? But you do pay what you get. I like. I no, cause that three hundred dollars dress over there. I am five feet and it's quite long, if you guys can tell. On the model, mmm, she has such a pretty silhouette. So the dress on me, I don't know if it's my body shape that I'm kind of like stretching it apart. The see-through part looks way too big, wide ass see-through part. Like it, it feels too exposing for a wedding. I don't know, don't ask me, I don't know. And the bottom flare is supposed to like lay out in a circle format. Just looks like some baggy sweatpants to me. There is literally no strength in this cloth. Is it supposed to drape? Not at all. You can literally see my body underneath. 1.5. <laughs> What in the fuck is this? <laughs> First of all, I don't even think I ordered this. I wouldn't have picked this as what it either, like no. Stars that run all the way throughout the dress. Statement. But I mean like if you're, I guess if you're into astrology, it's in a large, did not zip. And this fake cutout, it looks like felt board material. It's like not even white, it has this toffee color and it fakes this like sweetheart neckline. It goes all the way down. This is by far the worst one yet. Would you wear this to your wedding? I wouldn't recommend. There's this weird seeing that separates the stars. I don't know if this fake bow back here is supposed to do anything, but I'm not feeling much make it into a bow i literally have no words for this dress did i pick this why would i pick this i shall go destroy this now <laughs> this dress was 144 dollars and the quality is so much better than this stupid 200 dollars one the fake boobs are up here again this was long oh no ah. can we just pretend that i lace to myself this one's hot Okay, this is a paneled A-line wedding dress. Holy crap, it's huge. Ugly star. It's like a snowflake. Okay, it's a snowflake. Quite poofy. Wow, at least there's a train. Dun, dun. It does hold pretty nicely around the waist. Thicker corset running down. Belt looking band is attached. I feel like this dress is aiming for that like satin look. Does it pull it off? I'm not sure. It does have like that shine to it, right? First this layer with the snowflake. Hello, peekaboo. Not a fan. There's this layer. There's a layer of mesh just like folded within each other to create like a stiff poof. I could appreciate this neckline more. The fabric is higher quality. It's like a tank top. <laughs> I do like the train. It's not too, <gasps> wow, wait. Right at the beginning of your ass crack, you have these buttons running all the way down. It keeps going, goes all the way to the end. Button galore. Can you dance in this? <sighs> Just know you cannot be a runaway bride in this, so don't plan on running. There's a lot of dress to this dress, that's for sure. Give me a three out of five. I'm gonna be generous, a three out of five, okay? It is itchy and it pokes your arms a little bit, but that could be because I have thicker arms. See ya. So this is the final dress. I thought this was gonna be like the finale dress because it comes with a veil and gloves and also it's like a mermaid look. It looks like really good quality as well. My lord. Oh my God. Oh no! Oh my god, it's fog. <laughs> it's so much more fun. I mean, look how long that is. Oh my god, I gotta lose weight for my wedding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a lace up. Yeah. Look into this. I mean, if they want to tighten it, why can't they tighten it at the stomach? Like how my tummy bulges out. How do they fit her booty in it? Like, there's no way. Again, the chesty bestie pads are up here. Action! Wow, I still find a wear a veil. 
I feel like, what the fuck in the back? What is this, a wing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the boob padding is here, my boobs are right here. <laughs> Train Gorgi Oh, At least it comes with a veil. None of these did. Sleeps. It's okay. Like you can see like my fat bulging out when I do this. I do like the open neckline here, the open shoulder. Except, you know, it just looks very bulky because it's fit if you didn't realize. So this lacing top layer kind of matches the thick lacing on the sleeves. Almost like a comforter blanket underneath. Thick in quality surprisingly and it's heavy so that's fun. The train is probably my favorite. Super long. I mean look how long this is. So long. The edge of the train has this petal pattern that goes all the way around that traces the whole dress. I'll give this a four out of five. My body shape in the first place doesn't really match a mermaid. I mean, look at this. It's so tight around the coochie hoochie area, so just like be aware. At least it sucks it in because she's a little thick down there, you know? But it doesn't help that everything's bulging upward. I might explode. I'm really surprised with this quality. And look how freshly white this color is. It's like I just got out of the washing machine. The armpits are tight, so no chicken dancing in this. Because it's tight around the thigh with that mermaid look, it just looks out in a very beautiful way around the thighs. This is definitely a step up from Hobby Lobby. We're like Joanne status, okay? Well, thank you for coming to my weddings. <laughs> so we're putting the assistant in the dress. Oh. I've always wanted to do that. Well, you should <laughs> warn people. And you're being dirty. He presents you a princess. You like it? No. Oh. So this fits her a little better than me. We're technically the same size, like low key. Low key. <laughs> 10 pounds away, sis. Ow! But the tail is so pretty. The train, you are gorgina. I will give it that if you're on a budget and you're trying to find something like okay and you don't really care for like a really nice wedding dress, it's actually pretty good. Just make sure to measure yourself. That's the end of this wedding dress haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, don't buy your wedding dress online if you're serious about buying a wedding dress. It's up to you. Power's in your hand. Until next time, I'm Cindy Love. Bye! Even if you try